Today, the city of Moberly received an odor violation from the Department of Natural Resources. The violation notice was for a smell coming from a wastewater holding bin located just off of Rollins Street near Highway 63. ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky joins us live in studio. Mitchell, the city has 30 days to submit a plan to just make it less smelly out there. Megan Lucas, I visited the basin earlier today, and while there was a faint smell, I didn't find anything that smelled unusual for a sewage treatment facility, but apparently neither did the Department of Natural Resources the first time they visited. A, D a DNR spokesperson told me that they visited the site several times, and yesterday was the first time they found a violation. That was documented and sent to the city, and under state rules, they say once a city receives a violation, they have 30 days to come up with a plan to fix it. The Department of Natural Resources says it has received several calls from Moberly residents complaining about the smell of sewage, which prompted them to start an investigation. ABC 17 News also received complaints with one resident writing, quote, The smell is so bad some nights that even though I live about three quarters of a mile away, I can't open my windows without the smell getting in my house. Even with the windows shut, I can still smell it faintly. DNR field staff visited the site on multiple occasions over the last several weeks, but did not find anything wrong until Wednesday. We found some odors present, but not uh, very real strong odors until this week, whenever we were out there yesterday. A field instrument called Nasal Ranger is used to determine violations under the Missouri Code for Odor Regulations. The instrument dilutes the odor with seven parts of filtered air and one part of unfiltered air. If the odor can be detected twice within an hour, it's a violation. Moberly now has until December 15th to submit a plan on how it will reduce the odors below the standards listed under the Missouri State Code. Once a plan has been submitted, it must be approved by the DNR. The department will then follow up with the city to ensure the plan has been implemented and the smell has been reduced. The DNR told me that Moberly is cooperating and they're already beginning to take action. And I reached out to the city of Moberly, but have yet to hear back. Thank you, Mitchell. According to the city's website, the basin is one of five sewer system outfalls located in Moberly. During heavy rain, the basin can sometimes discharge partially treated stormwater and sewage.